So, uh, I've been in education for about nine years, five years as a paraprofessional at Crum, and then I got my first start here at Gainesville. Um, I started off at the intermediate and I taught world history for about three years, and then this is my first year here at junior high teaching Texas history. So I'm private military, uh, used to be a cop for about 15 years. I taught law enforcement and trained new troops, mentored them. So getting into education was kind of the right path for me. Mr. Bentley uh, served in the Air Force before becoming a teacher and because of that experience he's able to expose the kids to a lot of things out in the real world. And because he's a history teacher and he loves the United States because of his service, it just gives him a better insight into the subject that he's teaching and he has a connection to it so then his students have a connection to it and they really enjoy hearing his stories. Um, just showing you pictures or having you read stuff is one thing but actually hearing stories or from people who's been there, the experiences, and it gives me a chance to uh, share that with them, that let them know there's more than just Gainesville or just Texas, uh, that there is a whole entire world out there. Mr. Bentley tells kids right away that he was not the best student when he was growing up, that he was a smart young man, but he didn't necessarily make the right choices when it came to studying and grades. And because of that, he didn't go to college right away. He went to the military, and after that, then decided he wanted to become a teacher. So I believe in failure. Uh, failure is an acronym, first attempt in learning. And I'm a big believer in it because I've lived it. I've always been able to learn from my experiences and from my faults and be able to correct that. And that's what I want the kids to learn of one thing. You can fail multiple times as long as you get back up and keep trying. He very much advocates for his students all the time and works hard to help them see that being successful in school opens up more opportunities for you later in life. And he's patient with them with, when he knows the different uh, challenges they're facing. He doesn't see anything as a closed door, as an obstacle. He just, it's a challenge, and we accept the challenge and we move on, and everybody can be successful. That they're going to have to earn what they get, and sometimes they don't get what they want, and that's just part of life. But you can work hard and still get it, though. That's what I want them to understand. As I've gotten to know Mr. Bentley, uh, what I've loved getting to find out is that he is really funny. And when we have our dress-up days, he loves to dress up in them, silly things. And he loves to wear really bright, bright colors. More neon, the better. That gives you a little insight into his fun personality. And that's why the kids love him. So because of that, they'll do anything for him and they're successful in his class. To me, our most vital resource is our future, and it's the children. These are our future teachers, our future leaders. I want to be that one teacher that uh, is there for them, the ones that don't have somebody there for them. So I'm trying to help the ones that were like me.